Marty Brooks from Drag Time. So if you saw those, some of those clips I just showed you, that was done with this really, really cool device. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now, this has been out for a little while and I've been using it for a little bit doing kind of vlogs and, and videos around cars and such because it's so small, compact, and it's got this stabilized gimbal. So all this in a very small package makes it really awesome instead of a big, huge kind of camera setup that you would normally bring around and look really kind of weird. Everyone's staring at you when you're kind of doing these videos. But what I wanted to do that's a little unique to using this is for a different application is to have a remote control camera attached to a car that allows you to do remote control panning and still shots with this stabilized camera. So because it has the gimbal and you can actually control the gimbal from the phone, I'm going to show you how I got some of those shots and just how cool this device actually is. So I'm not going to give you a review because you've seen a ton of those, but just a couple of things you need to do this on the cheap too, relatively cheap, other than having a professional photographer with stabilized cameras hanging out of a car. <laughs> Trying to get rolling shots and such. I use the Tesla, which is behind me right here, on autopilot, along with remote controlling this camera mounted on the outside, to take some really cool shots of the Ford GT, which you see behind me. So for a vlogging camera, this thing's really, really cool. The only thing I would suggest is getting an external microphone if you're outside. Uh, so to do that, you need a $40 microphone adapter, which is right here. And you get that in focus. And you plug that into the bottom here. And then this Sarmac mic, and I'll put all the links in the, I'll put a bunch of links in the description for all these products. You plug this in here, and it's still relatively compact. And this little fuzzy thing here will keep the wind noise out. So you can use this. Uh, this is $25, and this is like, I think, $30 or $40. So these are kind of essential if you can do vlogging with this camera. But that's really not what I'm talking about today. What I'm talking about today is what you saw in the video, and that's remote controlling this from your phone to get really cool rolling shots of different, of different cars. And to do that, Unfortunately, you need some wireless connectivity between here and your phone, and DJI does not provide that by default. So the camera itself is $349, and then you also will need this Osmo Pocket Expansion Kit, which is about $100. So as part of the expansion kit, you get this base right here, where it allows it to stand up pretty well, and also adds wireless connectivity to the Osmo. I think it's a little, I think DJI is trying to bust you on the accessories because I don't find any reason why they couldn't fit wireless into here. And I think that's something everyone wants. So basically you plug this into the bottom here and that allows it to kind of stand up a little better and adds the wireless connecti connectivity between here and your phone. And why you want that is because you're going to mount this on the outside of the car and you can get a live preview of what this sees as well as remote control pan tilt this to get those shots that you want. So also what you'll need, which comes with the kit, is a mount. So this is a, it's got like a standard kind of GoPro connector on the back there. And what I use that in conjunction with the suction cup, this is what I use to film the GoPros on the outside of my car. So you got the RAM mount suction cup here, super strong, I've had this up to two, you know, 180, 190 miles an hour at the half mile. These work awesome. Then you got this mount here, and then you got the ball mount, and then you plug this here, and then you take the Osmo and you drop it in here. All right, so we'll turn this on here. You'll see this thing boot up. lock it to the table so it doesn't fall over. From this point, you take a phone, and I have an extra iPhone that I use uh, for these kind of purposes, and you launch the DJI MIMO app. From there, it connects to the camera via Bluetooth. All right, so once the device is connected, you get a live preview of what the camera sees, right? And from here, you can, there's a little control down here at the bottom which will allow you to control pan tilt the head. So as you can see, I'm moving this backwards and forwards. Let's turn it all the way around. So you can see you can pan and tilt the head of the Osmo from inside the car to get whatever angle shots that you want to get. Really, really cool. Now I was worried that the wind resistance of this would cause the gimbal to fail 
because if I move this a little bit, it'll say gimbal uh, protection mode enabled and it'll stop. But I was actually going highway speeds with this and it was rock solid, not having any problems. So pretty cool. Now what I also have for this is um, a mount for the phone in the car. And what helps here is the Tesla autopilot because I can turn autopilot on and it really helps me control this while recording the Ford GT. So I have this mount here. This is another route, same kind of base that I have for the um, GoPros that I use in an elbow and then arm and then an iPhone mount here. So basically you take this, plug it into here. And I lost my DJI Mimo app. And this allows me to mount this in the car on the dash and then I can control the DJI mount from there. So we're gonna load this up in the car and uh, kind of go through how it works. Let's get started. All right, so right now I got the Mimo app hooked up here. You can see that I'm controlling the camera and you can see the Ford GT behind me. We're gonna head up on the highway and do some rolling shots. I can control the gimbal here to adjust the view and you can see it sitting there right behind me, right behind me here. We're gonna head up on the highway and then we'll try some car tracking and then we will do some rolling with me controlling the gimbal left and right and the Ford box beside me. All right, so here we are rolling. We got autopilot on the test of the four GTs right here and I can control the gimbal left and right with the GT. So if I could pan that way, you can see it. I can change the angle and how we're, how we're looking at it here. This works out really, really nice. All right, let's bring the GT up a little bit. So here comes the GT passing. I'm gonna try and hold the can while it passes me and as smooth as I can. Wow, that's awesome. Here goes the GT in front of me. Hold right there. There we go, perfect. You can see how nice and stable this shot is. And I'm controlling it with the gimbal here. I'm gonna put the car on autopilot so I can hold this speed with the GT next to me. Of course, we got some cars in between us, but nevertheless, we're still getting some great rolling footage of the GT on the road. And here comes a Mustang between us. All right, so there you go. You saw action in using this attached to the Tesla, this inside monitoring live what's happening outside. And of course, having autopilot in the Tesla does definitely help keep the car stable running down the road. In addition to that, have this stabilized and remote control using the iPhone right here. So definitely a really cool way to get stills. This thing shoots in 4K. So you can actually zoom way in. You'll see some of the footage of the Ford GT. I was able to zoom in on the carbon fiber wheel and get a lot of detail in that 4K image when you're just using the 1080p as the final product. Also, this has built-in smart tracking. So not in 4K, but if you run this in actual 1080p, you can draw a box around the object you want to track, which would be the car. And then if that's the case, and you had a good amount of distance between the two cars, this would automatically track the car as you're moving back and forth, which is super cool. Unfortunately, we can't do that in 4K yet, and I wanted to get the 4K footage so I can get more details and zoom in, so I didn't really test out that feature. One other thing to note is that you can see when we were kind of cruising side by side, sometimes this is a little too close to the other car if you're side by side. So separating one lane in between makes a much wider angle of view. You can get the whole car. There are wide angle adapters for this that you can buy on Amazon for like 10 or 15 bucks. And if you get that, then you can get a much wider field of view. I've seen some demos online on YouTube and I felt like it kind of detracted a little bit away from the quality, so I didn't get that. That being said, that's definitely an option if your cars were a little closer and you couldn't get space in between them. But nevertheless, hope you enjoyed this little tech review of the DJ Osmo Pocket, along with all the accessories I have here, which is the RAM mount, the mount for the phone, the wireless base station. It also comes with this uh, device here, which, al which allows you to connect this, and it makes uh, vlogging a little easier because you can use a little scroll wheel here to kind of go up and down. I didn't feel like it was too super helpful, but it came with this wireless expansion kit, so I just got all that together. So all then, you're looking at $350 for the the Osmo. You're looking for another 100 bucks for the kit which gets you to 450. This microphone, 25 bucks. The microphone adapter is 40 bucks. And these RAM mounts, I think this is $20. This is like 10 bucks and this is like five bucks. So overall for about 450, $500, you can get really, really cool. Whoops, 
almost hit the car. You can get a really, really cool setup uh, to get rolling images and rolling B footage for those really cool videos that you're producing. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. We got some tech reviews coming of some different stuff as it applies, and we got a lot of cool races coming up too. So there you go. Thanks for watching.